Ben's earrings back. They're very, very important to me. I'm so happy to have found them. Could you please translate? That won't be necessary. I speak English. So... These earrings are very precious to you? Yes, infinitely precious. 100,000 yuan to get them back. 100,000 yuan? Is that a lot? That's the law of supply and demand, baby. It's precious to her, then it's precious to me. That's disgusting! Using other people's misfortune to get rich! You're the one who robbed the girl. You're the one who brought her to me afterwards. So tell me, which one of us uses people's misfortune more? Marinette! Chiki, I'm gonna get you out of here. Stop it, Faye. I'll pay. But that's a huge sum. I'll call my uncle and explain everything. Could I please use your phone? Could you give me the number to the Thousand Delights restaurant, please? I know it. Your uncle is a great chef. Yes, and I'm so ashamed I have to ask him. Here's the number. Thank you, sir. That's very nice of you. Hmm? Hmm. We'll find another way. But, Faye! If you don't buy these jewels now, I can't guarantee that I'll still have them later. If a customer wants to buy them, I'll sell them. Faye, I can't lose them again. Believe me, no one will buy them at that price. <laughs> Faye, what are you doing? You don't want the answer to your question? You don't want to know who went after your father? Have you forgotten who you are? Actually, I just remembered who I really am. Uh. I'm taking you back to your uncle. Faye, I really can't leave without... Uh. Hop on the bike, quick! You stole my earrings? Weren't you the one who wanted them back? Yes, but not like that! Stealing is wrong! That seller paid a lot of money to buy my earrings from whoever sold them to him. If he can't sell them back, he'll have lost all his money! Marinette, I promise I'll explain everything, but you've got to get on the bike, now! Hmm. Where's the red plush toy? Duped me. That little brat duped me. Ah, get them! What if that poor man's taken on a debt to buy these earrings? <laughs> Marinette, stop arguing and run! <laughs> <laughs> Cat Noir. To err is human, apparently. My mistakes are unforgivable. I couldn't bear to see the disappointment in her eyes. I don't know if I can do this. I can't imagine being Ladybug without him. Your lady is waiting for you. <laughs> Glad to see you again, Pla. No need to get so cheesy. Who are you talking to? My Kwame. Kwamis can't be detected by technology, which means your robo-buddy can't see or hear me. <laughs> There's no time to lose. We have to be back on this plane before it lands. Flat, close out!
the person who wears the prodigious. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Only the Rin Ren can see us. Some kind of magic little creatures, but apparently I'm the only one who can see them. The prodigious is mine, King Cash! <gasps> we are the Renling, the spirits of human values. Each of us can turn you into a different animal if you are worthy of the virtues <gasps> it represents. <laughs> if you want me, Tang Tang, the Renling of patience, to turn you into a mantis, you must show patience. Thanks, but I don't have any patience right now, sorry. I am Shang Shang, Renling of calm. Calm? Is this a joke? Calm as a bear. Big and strong like a bear. Shung! All right. Thanks. Uh, Lady Bear, apparently. For now. What are you supposed to do with that? I don't know yet. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Jump! We've got to destroy his fan in order to de-akumatize him! What's wrong? I should be able to turn into a dragon and gain control over natural elements. I'd love to electrify his armor with lightning, but I can't transform. The power of the dragon is the most powerful of them all. Your intentions must be noble and just if you aim to use it. Of course my intentions are just. I want revenge on the guy who destroyed my whole life. Revenge is the opposite of the values of the dragon. Your judgment and your intentions are clouded. Revenge isn't the same thing as justice. Then I'll find another way to defeat him. Ha! 